I'm not gonna lie, NetEase kind of cooked with that Destiny Rising trailer. And I know for myself and plenty of other Destiny players and creators, when I saw that Destiny Rising was only going to be available on mobile, I was kind of sad. But I have found a way to play Destiny Rising on PC, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. At the time of this recording, we're less than 24 hours away from the closed alpha test, and I do have around 15 test keys left. So if you do wanna test out Destiny Rising, join my Discord and send me a message. And note, these keys will be first come, first serve, so they might run out pretty quickly. Now, the first step you're going to need to do once you have a test key is head to the website and press on DRCA code. Now, when filling out the information, make sure to select Android and not iOS. If you choose iOS, you won't be able to play it on PC, so make sure you select Android. Next, you can select your region and then put in an email that is associated with Google Play. This is how we're going to be able to run the application. Next, you'll put in the access code, check mark the privacy policy, and then submit, and then you will receive an email. Next, you're going to want to download BlueStacks, and I'll put the link to the website in the description. Essentially, Essentially, BlueStacks is an Android emulator. Anything that can be performed on an Android can essentially be performed on PC through this application. Once downloaded, you'll install the application, and once it's fully installed, you will be at this screen. The next thing you're going to want to do is go down to the bottom left here where it says App Player and press on that. This will boot up the emulator, and once you're here, you're going to want to open the Google Play Store. Now, make sure when you log into the Google Play Store that you use the same email that you used on the Destiny Rising website. Now, the first thing you're going to need to download is Gmail. The reason being is because when you receive the email with the link associated with it, it opens up the Google Play Store and that will not work on PC, but it does work in the emulator because it thinks it's Android. Once you press the link, it'll send you to the Destiny Rising Early Access where all you have to do is install the game. Once downloaded, you'll be able to see Destiny Rising in the emulator. And there's also a way to put the shortcut on your home screen as well. Now, before launching the game, we're going to need to change a couple of settings. So if you come to the bottom right, you'll press here on the cogwheel. Under performance, I put everything at the highest settings and then enabled high frame rate and just set it to 120. You can change these settings accordingly depending on the performance of your PC. Under display, the main thing is display resolution, making sure you have on landscape and then 1920 by 1080. If you want to do 1440, you totally can. This setting is important, so under graphics, make sure to select Vulkan as your graphics renderer. When trying to open the game under OpenGL and DirectX, I cannot get past the initial loading screen where it says NetEase Games. For interface render, I just put auto, software encoding. If you can select hardware encoding, I probably would. And then if you have a dedicated GPU, definitely turn that on. Under game settings, you can actually launch Destiny Rising in full screen. So make sure you have that selected. If you'd like to change any settings under devices, gamepad and preferences, you totally can. Under phone and device profile, I just selected the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, but I don't believe it matters which ones you select. I just picked this one since it's technically, I think the best phone out of all the options. And if you wanna mess with any settings under shortcut, user data advanced and about you totally can so let's go ahead and launch destiny rising and as you can see it hit full screen we see netties have the epilepsy warning and boom it is loading in so if you do run into any issues definitely let me know in the comments i'm not sure if there are any other problems i tried to google and reddit a couple things to make sure i can get this to work properly so if you do run into any issues definitely let me know it's just the settings that i used ended up working for me and hopefully it works for testing boom there we go if this video was helpful to you at all be sure to drop a like on it subscribe to the channel and turn on that bell next to notification so you don't miss out on any other content we have dropping here on the channel if you didn't know we live stream here on youtube and also over on twitch that link will be in the description we will be doing vespers host dungeon help so if you want help with the dungeon you know come by stream hop in the chat say something if we're running it, we can definitely help you out. And if you want to be proactive, join my Discord. We're going to have plenty of people looking to run the dungeon. So if you would like help, whether it's for me or somebody in my community, definitely hop in. And lastly, if you want to help support the channel even more, you can look into becoming a member. If you don't know what a membership is, it's essentially like a Twitch subscription, but it is technically cheaper. In any event, you do get access to the exclusive emotes, the monthly badges, and other cool stuff here on the channel. Mainly being, you can get access to all of my long form videos early. So if you want to see a new Destiny build early, you can get access to it right away when I post it. So if you want more information, all you have to do is press the join button next subscribe, and that'll give you a rundown with all the details you need. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been your boy. We'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.